former Portland Mayor Vera Katz told The Oregonian in 2012 that family demands often kept women out of politics in Oregon. But that never stopped her. She was the state's first female House Speaker, the third female mayor of Portland, and a loving Jewish mother. She died at age 84 on Monday. Colleagues described her as a warm, strong, persistent force and a pioneer for women in politics. Her son, Los Angeles journalist Jesse Katz, remembers her as a doting mother and grandmother and a Jewish immigrant eager to give back to the country that gave her family a new life after they fled Europe during World War II. America rescued her when she was a little girl, Jesse Katz said. Katz's family decided in early December to begin hospice care for her after she was diagnosed with leukemia. The leukemia was the third cancer diagnosis to strike the political powerhouse. Complications from the chemotherapy used to treat her breast cancer in 2000 and an aggressive cancer of the reproductive system in 2004 left her with kidney problems, for which she underwent dialysis three times a week for more than a decade. Kat stopped treatment last week, her son said, and she died a tranquil death in her bed Monday morning. Vera Katz escaped the Nazis as a child, came to America on a Greek steamship speaking only French and Russian, then grew up to become Oregon's first woman speaker of the House and Portland's longest-serving woman mayor. She also showered me with unconditional love. She was 84 pick Twitter com slash GB16 New York 5 UCG. Fighting for acceptance. Katz was born Vera Pistrak on August 3. 1933, in Dusseldorf, Germany, the same year that Adolf Hitler became Chancellor. Her parents, Lazar and Reza Pistrak, were Menshevik Jews who had fled Russia after the 1917 revolution brought their political opponents to power. Two months after Vera's birth, sensing danger again, the Pistraks left for France with her and her older sister, Zina. When the Nazis invaded France in 1940, the Pistricks hiked the Pyrenees to escape to Spain. From there, they arranged passage to New York City. Katz arrived with her parents and sister when she was seven. She spoke Russian and French. If you look at her public life and all the years of what she gave to her community, you can understand a lot of that by looking back at what she came from, Jesse Katz said. She felt an obligation to pay back her adopted home, he said. Katz took on her new New York identity with ease. She fell in love with baseball and listened to Brooklyn Dodgers games on the radio. It made her feel American, her son said, to follow the country's quintessential pastime. Jackie Robinson was her first hero, he said. Katz watched the second baseman strive for acceptance as the first African American in Major League Baseball while she took to her new home. Years later, she would overcome prejudices and labels such as militant housewife to become Oregon's first female speaker of the House and to push her and her political colleagues' agendas forward. She related really strongly to the idea of somebody fighting for acceptance, trying to break barriers, Jesse Katz said. Katz set out to eliminate obstacles for women as early as the 60s.